Hey everyone, um, it is week seven, I think, of lockdown. And I thought I'd come into the shop today and, oh, naked mannequin. <laughs> Sorry, let's just cover her up a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I thought I'd come in today and do a video on different shapes of dresses. So uh, we've got ball gowns, fishtail, mermaid, fitted, backless. Uh, how many other ones can I think of? Uh, loads. There's loads more. Um, so I'm going to get my kit off and try on as many as I can think of. <laughs> probably won't be many and um yes gives you a little insight so maybe when you go prom dress shopping you can say oh i quite like the look of a ball gown or a fishtail or whatever it may be see how we get on also i just wanted to show you this before i took it off um anyone buying more since they've been on lockdown because i feel like i'm buying so much clothes so many clothes so much clothing Oh, I'm not sure. Um, and um, I've got absolutely nowhere to wear it. So I thought I'd put on this little cute number from Dirty Little Style Bitch. Very cool. Boyfriend did not like it though. <laughs> Bit too cool for him. <laughs> this is a real big ball gown. This is a lot of volume. This will bring in your waist here and it will sort of make you feel a bit more um, princessy going out. This one's got lots of ruffles. Um, I couldn't quite do myself up because I was by myself in the shop. Um, and this is a top. And again, I've got no bra on, but these have got padded cups in them. So you don't need a bra. And then that stops this bit on the back, seeing any kind of bra-ness. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this has been really popular. And also what's really cool about these dresses, not only um, do they make you feel like Cinderella, they, um, for your after prom, you can take your skirt off and put on some jeans and then you'd actually have like your top to wear to your after party. So um, probably a good way of getting around mum as well, being like, well, you don't need to buy me another after party dress. You know, dress might be a bit more expensive, but uh, I've, got, I've got my outfit for after party too. So that's how I play, girls. This is really cool. I'd literally do this all day long. Okay, so now this is a ball gown, but a dress as opposed to a top and a skirt, two piece. This is actually probably my favorite ever ball gown, which I've put it on again. It's just so beautiful. I do like this plungy bit here. Um, and then I love the fabric. I love that it's quite structured, but... Um, this is a really good shape for really bringing in your waist. And also if you're quite busty, um, you may need a strap, but if you have anything that's ball gown shape, it really brings in that tiny little waist and makes you look really curvy. So um, this is, I think, so gorgeous. This has got sewn in cups. I've actually put these in. I don't know if many of you girls have seen these. Da -da -da -da. These are my pair, really old. I've got loads of padding in. Um, and these can be sewn into dresses. These are just boob cups. We sell them here. You can sew them in. And I mean, if you look at the difference, <laughs> I hope not many men watch this video, let them know all of our secrets. And then um, you can have them sewn in and it just gives you that little bit extra oomph. And um, say this fits me really lovely on the waist. I think this is an eight or a 10, this dress. Um, it's a bit big on top because I haven't got very big boobs. Um, so little cups like that can just fill it out and then you don't need any alterations. So yeah, this is a good dress. This is a fishtail mermaid uh, style. I actually just broke it trying to get into it and trying to zip it up. I pulled on my strap. That's uh, a really good uh, reason why when you come to the shop and when you go to lots of other shops, quite a lot of shops will want to dress you um, just because the dresses can be damaged easily when you do it yourself. Whereas when you have someone else do it, they pull it all the right places rather than pulling it all the wrong places. Oh well, um, I'll fix it. So um, this has got beautiful, slightly low back, not too low, little tiny waistband. It's a bit small for me and um, it's definitely flattening my bum. Um, but this is a really lovely shape. 
Um, this tends to be better for taller girls um, because if you are uh, shorter um, or not so tall, we like to say here, um, what happens is at the bottom, when the dress gets taken up, you lose quite a lot of the pattern at the bottom and the applique, I'll show you my toes, uh, you'll lose obviously some of this. This one's not too bad, actually. This would be one that could be altered reasonably well. Um, but what you lo do lose when you're not so tall is you get this shape here and then when you lose a chunk of it at the bottom the dress proportions are just out slightly so this is generally um, a slightly better style for um, taller girls but um, we can get around it if you really fall in love with it and you're five foot or whatever um, this dress comes in red as well and looks completely different in red yeah if you like red go for red if you like creamy champagne go for creamy champagne <laughs> So this is a uh, mermaid fishtail two-piece. So the same style as what we had before, um, but in a two-piece version. This took me ages to get into because I'm by myself. Um, just managed to do it up. This dress comes in this colour, a blush pink colour and a gunmetal grey. Um, it is really popular this dress, but it is one of our premium dresses. These dresses do wherever you go, unfortunately. These are the ones that are gonna you know, sting your wallet or mum's wallet. <laughs> right, so that's it. Two piece mermaid fishtail. So this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but this is definitely my cup of tea. <laughs> um, I like this because it's so different. You don't get many dresses with feathers on. Um, this is our most expensive dress in our shop. We go, as I said, from about 150 to 600. And this is right there at the top. It's encrusted so beautifully the detail is amazing and the back is beauty so this would be um a straight style so i wanted to put on something that was dead straight so it doesn't flare out i mean it flares out a tiny bit but not a lot if i go on my heels you can see that's where it would be if it was altered so this would be straight if you just want to have something that's slinky and long very blingy, obviously this one I'm gonna put on a straight and not blingy now, just to show, show the difference. And this you could have taken in under your bottom a little bit more just to get that bum to poke out because we wanna show our bums off most of the time. This is a straight still, um, but this one's got a split in it. So some girls again love a split, love to show off their leg, love to show off their nice shoes. <laughs> Uh, some girls hate to show their legs, so this might not be the one for you. Um, quite a lot of the dresses, um, I'm going on to a different subject now, but this has got uh, a spectacular back. Uh, these really gorgeous glittery straps. The neckline that matches the bag, that then matches the back, and then you're good to go. This is a real killer simple number with a little bit of bling. And then you could wear your red soles or your silver shoes or your glittery silver. But this all together looks wunderbar. <laughs> the only word in German that I know. Um, so what I was gonna say about splits is lots of girls want splits and lots of dresses don't have them. So quite a lot of the time, if you are someone that's really looking for a split, we can add a split in a lot of dresses. Slightly harder to take a split away really need to shave my legs like lockdown is not good for body hair <laughs> one little thing to say i forgot to say about this is that this is a halter neck um neckline so um for people who think they're quite broad sometimes they don't think this is quite a good style for them uh, it does tend to make the shoulders look bigger sometimes i'm actually quite broad myself um but i have actually worn this so <laughs> probably look really broad in it <laughs> straight very straight and backless. Tick. This took me ages to get into. <laughs> I had to pour myself into this one. Um, this is for the girls that want to show off every single bit of their shape. No matter what shape it is, if you want skin tight, 
this is the dress this is really really sexy very simple but still really elegant it's got this beautiful bit here it's gonna be hard to do this with one hand but it comes out the back and creates this beautiful um trainy trail making it up as i go along i think <laughs> Um, this comes in four colours. This colour, which is actually like a bright pink raspberry red colour. It's not quite red. It's not quite pink. It's not fuchsia, but it is um, pinky-ish. <laughs> ah! And then it comes in emerald green and royal blue and a blush pink, like a baby soft pink, which is really beautiful. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I do think it is a gorgeous style, really shows off figures, shows off waists, little bit of breast calls, but not too much. Onto a style that I never tend to wear very often, um, but is quite popular, although there's not many of these styles around um, currently. Um, this is uh, an A-line with a slightly more lower waistline. You can get um, sort of A-line that stop underneath the bust, um, which is an emperor line, and that comes out from here. Uh, this would say would be a strapless dress, and then the floatiness would come out a bit higher. Um, but this is quite girly and soft and not too structured, really comfortable. Um, I couldn't quite do this one up at the back, um, but it's got a lovely open back. And this dress comes in so many colours. These um, styles uh, can be good for tiny sizes, um, so like twos and fours for giving a bit of shape. This sometimes just gives the look of a little bit of curves. Um, but this is also really good for like 16, 18, 20, um, for girls who just have a little bit of uh, conscious area here because it's got that little bit of movement, it's not too clingy. We do have a dress here called the Kardashian, changing the subject, um, which is really fitted and it is incredible on, I mean, I've seen it on 24s, 26s. So that's not to say that, you know, curvier girls can't wear fitted. It's just that we have a lot of girls that come in that tend to um, prefer this kind of shape until I force them into a fitted dress. <laughs> I don't force you into anything, just encourage you to try different things. So yeah, this is um, a line. This is uh, the last sort of neckline that we've not done. Um, I would say this is probably a little bit more grown up for prom as well. This is a plunge. So again, I've got my chicken fillets in. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is probably quite a lot of the mums, I think, would say this is a bit booby for 16 prom. Uh, maybe 18 prom. Um, it would be down to you and your mum, whatever's fine for you. And then obviously this has got quite a high split as well. So quite a slinky number. Um, and it's also got a little bit of a train. Would have a longer train if I didn't have my heels on. Um, but I thought I'd put them on with this one because it's got a split. Put the effort, put the shoes on. Um, this comes in lots of colours as well. I'll show you in this mirror as well. I love this dress. Oh, chicken fillets on display a little bit. So yeah, this is plunge. This is my favourite neckline. This is a bardo. Um, this is just so elegant. I just realised in all these videos, I've done my makeup so badly. I'm really rubbish at makeup. Um, you can see like a smudgy mark. So bad. <laughs> oh, great with dresses, terrible with makeup. Bardo neckline, very pretty woman, very elegant. This is really good for all sizes, um, really good for girls. Lots of girls coming in um, wanting sleeves and not many dresses come with sleeves. I don't know what it is with design, but generally when you put a sleeve on a dress, it just instantly looks quite mature and it looks quite grown up, but not in a good way. There's not that many long sleeve dresses that still look really young and prommy. I've worn so many of these styles. I really love this neckline. I, I like this area of my body. <laughs> very strange um my clavicles apparently they're called um and i just think they look really lovely with a like dangly earring and no necklace i go for normally i also go with jewelry when i speak about um accessories i don't really like personal preference again but um dangly earrings and a necklace 
think it's too much just need a little something so um yeah this is a really lovely dress if you want to show off this area <laughs> so and this has got a sort of fishtail trumpet type bottom very simple this dress you could just add a little tiny blee belt and would look fabulous this would also be really nice for really elegant bridesmaids um so yeah uh bardo and trumpet Do -do -do -do. now this is a little treat for you um i actually don't know what this style is called if you do know what it's called please let me know <laughs> i have tried to google it it's basically i love this dress uh, it looks teal in the video, but it's actually emerald green. It's very strange. Um, so this is like a fitted dress here. And then it's got this gorgeous sort of A-line ball gown bit on top. So it's a bit of both. This has sold so well for us. We've also got it in a gorgeous pink blush colour. So it's very dramatic. It's got a really long... <laughs> so hard to do this by yourself uh long train little dainty straps um with a little tiny bit of embellishment on some of them are missing just another note on that any dresses you see are our samples we don't generally sell these or we sell these discounted so um the ones you see me trying on if they have got any imperfections it's just because they're the ones that we use quite a lot for people to try on so only one dress gets damaged other as a what oh, as opposed to a size eight a size 10 a size 12 a size 14 all getting damaged we just have one that gets damaged that's our one <laughs> so yep yeah, this is um i don't know 50 50 cape style if you can think of a better name or if you want to name it for me then please comment below or if you do actually know what this dress is called the style i mean i would be um very interested to know there we go so i tried to do as many styles as i could remember um but if there's anything i've missed today that you'd particularly like me to wear or put on or show you or advise on please leave your comments um do let me know if these videos are useful um i'm gonna keep plugging away until someone tells me not to <laughs> and um yeah i'm gonna go home now and put some pajamas on and take my makeup off <laughs> lockdown gets me so lazy jeez so hope you're all well stay safe and see you later